It has been five years, and scientists are still working to look for evidences of a type of star only hypothesized but never observed. According to researchers, the star could be powdered not by the fusions of atoms like the Sun and the other ordinary stars. They have also added they could be powdered by some mysterious stuff called dark matter. So, what is dark matter? It's a kind of matter that can't be seen to us. It does mean the matter always stays in the dark. But how can scientists be confirmed about those matters as we are unable to see those matters? Why are we unable to see the dark matter? Professor Michiko Kaku explains what is dark matter. There is a theory that says that perhaps dark matter is nothing but matter, ordinary matter in another dimension hovering right above us. James Webb's space telescope launched in 2021, has spotted three objects last December. The three objects were some of the universe's earliest known galaxies, but according to researchers, instead might actually be humongous dark stars. Dark stars means the stars would be powered by dark matter. We can't see the dark matter, but we can measure its gravitational effects at a galactic scale. But how can it be possible? Dark matter makes up most of the universe's mass and creates its underlying structure. Dark matter's gravity drives normal matter, gas and dust, to collect and build up into stars and galaxies. Although astronomers cannot see dark matter, they can detect its influence by observing how the gravity of massive galaxy clusters, which contain dark matter, bends and distorts the light of more distant galaxies located behind the cluster. This phenomenon is called gravitational lensing. Do you know primary evidence of dark matter comes from various galaxies that don't show any differences in behavior due to a large amount of unseen matter? If galaxies didn't contain any dark matter, some galaxies would not have formed at all and others would not move as they currently do. The existence of dark matter has to do with the way dark matter affects the movement of celestial bodies. Now just look at our solar system you can observe almost all of the mass is in the Sun. The innermost planets like Mercury and Venus orbit the Sun the fastest. As the distance from our Sun increases the speed at which planets move decreases because there is less gravitational pull from our Sun on planets farther out and to keep from spiraling into or away from the Sun, they must move slower. We can apply a similar analogy to galaxies. If we assume that the bright part of a galaxy shows where most of the mass is, then most of the mass is near the center, and at the dim edge of a galaxy, there should not be much mass. Therefore, objects orbiting far from the center of the galaxy should move slower than objects closer to the center, just like the planets in our solar system. To test this hypothesis, scientists recorded the incoming light from a distant spiral galaxy and plotted the velocities of the stars versus their distances from the center of the galaxy. Scientists discovered that the stars were not behaving in the way anticipated. They found that the stars farther away from the center were moving much faster than predicted. The only way this is possible is if there is more mass in the outer parts of galaxies than we can observe. The fact that we are unable to see this mass because it is not emitting light suggests the presence of dark matter. These three dark stars captured by James Webb Space Telescope are believed to be exited in the early history of the universe. Dark stars, if they do indeed live, may be crucial to helping us understand how the macrocosm first got light. For about 15 times, scientists have suspected that dark stars were among the first our universe ever produced when it was just 700 million times old. But what could be the characteristics of these stars? In 2007, the possibility of dark stars was proposed by Fries and colleagues. They also added they may have been common in the early universe. These exotic dark stars, composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, would be fueled by dark matter heating rather than nuclear fusion. A type of dark matter called weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, 
could be involved in the process of dark matter heating. WIMPs have finessed discovery for decades in Earth grounded discovery trials. But according to Fries's platoon, the sheer viscosity of dark matter in the early universe could beget them to interact far more repeatedly with regular matter during the conformation of some of the foremost stars. In the early universe, WIMPs could have decayed into photons, electron-positron pairs and other particles, which collided with hydrogen in the collapsing cloud, Fries explains. Dark stars are stars in every sense, because the massive gravity of their cold, intruding material is perfectly balanced by the outward hydrostatic pressure generated by energy release processes in their interiors. Likewise, Fries says they have several key differences from regular stars. In contrast, they have no cores, which require high temperatures for fusion to occur, Fries explains. Dark stars are cool everywhere, including the surface, so they don't produce ionizing photons or winds that prevent them from accreting mass. As a result, Fries and colleagues argue that dark stars are balloon-shaped at about 10 AU and millions of solar masses. This allows the stars to pull in more dark matter particles. In the process, a supermassive dark star, SMDS, can become bright enough to outshine an entire galaxy. Detecting dark stars would confirm the existence of a dark matter particle and hint at how it works. Dark stars could also help explain the formation of supermassive black holes. Once the dark matter inside the star has annihilated itself, the remaining hydrogen and helium, millions of times the mass of the Sun in a relatively compact space, would collapse in on itself and form a black hole. Those black holes could merge over time into black holes like the ones at the centers of most galaxies, millions or billions of times as massive as the Sun.